Hey guys, what's up? It's Izzy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm doing another college related video and this video is gonna be what to bring to college clothes edition. So I know when I was moving in, I literally think I brought probably everything in my wardrobe to college, which I had a tiny closet and a tiny dresser. So I basically had way too many clothes and no room and I hardly ended up wearing like half my wardrobe. So I wanted to make this video for any incoming freshmen who just didn't know what kind of clothes to bring to college like I did, just so you don't underpack or overpack and you just bring exactly what you need. So this is what I had from my experience. It's different, of course, for different schools and for you know your personal preference but this is just a list that i came up with and hopefully it helps you guys out okay let's get right on into what clothes to bring to college i'm kind of grouping it into sections so it's a little bit easier to understand so the first section i'm going to talk about is comfortable clothes so personally to class i literally would just wear running shorts leggings sweatpants t-shirts like comfy clothes I was not really the person that dressed up for class a lot. Sometimes I had to dress up for like presentations and stuff like that, but most of the time I just like being comfortable. And when I'm just hanging around in my dorm, I also like being comfortable. So basically half my wardrobe is comfortable clothing at college. First up, you wanna bring running shorts, any type of athletic short. Um, so I really like these Lululemon shorts. They're just the plain ones. Um, I would wear these or like Nike running shorts all the time. Um, they're also good for working out in or just going to class. You know, you always need some good running shorts. Along the lines of that, you also need leggings. So basically in the warmer months, I would wear running shorts and in the colder months, I would wear leggings. And my favorite places to get leggings are of course, Lululemon. I just got these blue ones that I really like. And recently I just started getting into Fabletics. I got this pair of red leggings as well. I think colored leggings are super fun and they can spice up your outfit. Also getting them with matching workout tops or sports bras for working out is so cute. I also think it is crucial to have at least, I'm gonna say like four pairs of black leggings. I know that I would always run out of my black leggings. I wear those like probably every day just cause they go with everything. So definitely stock up on black leggings because you're gonna be wearing them a lot. For your really lazy days, I would recommend having at least three pairs of sweatpants that you really like. I would wear sweatpants to bed, to class, hanging out. Um, they're just the best. These are from Brandy Melville. I like them because they have like a little stripe detail on them. And you also want sweatshirts to go along with your leggings in the winter. I know my uniform for college was like a sweatshirt and leggings for class and a pair of sneakers and call it a day. I just got this sweatshirt from Brandy Melville. It's a cropped gray hoodie. I think playing around with like cropped sweatshirts or sweatshirts with cute designs on them um, really can make your outfit look a little more put together. I know Brandy has great sweatshirts. That's where a lot of mine are from. And then of course your school bookstore. I have a ton of Illinois sweatshirts that I wear on the daily. Okay, so this is something that I would say you need, but you wanna make sure you don't bring a lot of, and that is t-shirts. So of course bring t-shirts that you wear like on a daily basis, but I'm talking about like the free t-shirts that you get for stuff. Like you're a freshman, you're gonna go to all these freshman activities and you're gonna get so many free t-shirts. I got so many free Illinois t-shirts, Kappa Delta t-shirts, any like activity you sign up for, you might get a t-shirt. And I only really wear these t-shirts to bed. So if you bring like 20 t-shirts that you're gonna wear to bed, you're probably gonna get like 20 more. So I would say only bring the ones that you consecutively wear because I know I had a t-shirt drawer. It was overflowing and I probably only wore like five. Okay, next category of clothes I'm gonna talk about are the clothes that you wear to class or on a daily basis. Like these are your clothes that you wanna look more presentable in not like your sweatpants and leggings and comfy clothes, if that makes sense. Okay, so this definitely varies per person. I know personally I would wear sweatpants and leggings and sweatshirts and t-shirts most of my time. So I would say for me, that's like mostly the type of clothes I wanna bring. But I also like looking nice for class sometimes and you know, like on a weekend, you know, having cute outfits on. So I would say bring definitely outfits that you would wear on a regular basis, but don't bring things that like you wouldn't wear 
to class. You know what I mean? Like I would bring so many shirts that were like nice tops and skirts and stuff like that. And I never ended up wearing them. Also casual dresses, I would say only bring a few just because you don't really wear them as much as you think you're going to. I would say you definitely need a pair or a couple pairs of jean shorts if you're gonna wear those to class in the warmer months. Um, I know that when I was trying to look nicer for class, I would wear jean shorts. Um, this pair is from Topshop. I have a pair from Princess Polly that I wear all the time. Another thing I would bring is just simple tops that you can pair with these jean shorts. So this little tank top is from Urban. Um, I love Urban's basics. I think Brandy Melville has so many basics. Like this shirt that I'm wearing from Brandy, I would bring. Just like t-shirts you would wear with jean shorts, like casual, you know. I found a tip for most of my tops was that I would wear them either during the day or at night. So like the green tank top I just showed you, I would wear it during the day with like jeans, you know, whatever. And then at night, if I wore them with like black jeans and a belt and my makeup done, like it was like a night outfit. So I think having transitional pieces was really, really helpful because you don't have to bring as much, but you still have lots of options for your outfits, if that makes sense. Next thing that you definitely need in college are good pairs of everyday jeans. So these are from Target. They're just some mom jeans. I have a pair of jeans from Topshop that I wear all the time. If there's one thing you can take away from this video is that you need a belt. I didn't have a belt all of freshman year and every single outfit, I kid you not, every outfit that I wore, I was like, this would look so much better with a belt. I was always bothering my friends to borrow their belts. So I finally got one. If you watch my back to school clothing haul, you will see this in there. A lot of these pieces actually you'll see in there. But um, yeah, definitely just get like a black belt and a brown belt. It'll match every outfit and it really like makes your outfit, takes it to the next level. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about outerwear. So this only really applies if you go to school somewhere where it gets cold, like Illinois where I go. Um, definitely bring an assortment of sweaters because in the winter, sweaters and leggings, it's such a good outfit and it's so comfy. A good jean jacket, a windbreaker, a winter coat, and maybe like one other coat or something like that. You never really have too many coats in the winter, especially if it gets freezing. Okay, so this really only applies to people who are planning on going to frat parties in college. So whether you're in Greek life or if you go to a big bar school and you want to go out to the bars, these are things that you need if you're planning on going out at college. First thing being a fracket. So this is a frat jacket. Basically what it is is a coat that you will wear over your outfit in the winter say you're wearing like a tank top and jeans out you're gonna be literally freezing so you want a jacket that you can just throw over your outfit you don't really care about what happens to it so when you get to the party you could take it off and throw it like in a closet or in a room or whatever and then if it happens to get like taken or spilled on whatever you don't really care about it so I'd recommend for that like thrifting a jacket or using like an old jacket that you don't really care about anymore as your fracket and then just have it you know designated this is the jacket you wear out. And to go along with your fracket, you also need frat shoes. So these are so important. Do not wear shoes that you like out to the bars or the frats because they will be disgusting by the time you leave. I would recommend for these like a pair of boots or sneakers that you, they're either old or you thrifted them and you don't really care about them. Um, but what I did was wear an old pair of Adidas Superstars that I don't really wear anymore. And I don't know where they are right now, but they're, they used to be white and they're literally like brown now. So I already touched on this, but simple tops like this, this is the same green one again, but little tank tops, crop tops, you're going to need like a ton of just small shirts to go out in because that's what everybody wears, like stuff that you're going to feel cute in. And I would say maybe have like 10 or 15 of those, honestly, like I, a lot of my shirts I buy anyway are cropped, but definitely have a good assortment if you're going to be going out a lot. The next thing that I would recommend bringing, especially if you're going to be going to parties, are themed clothes. This is a Hawaiian shirt that I literally just bought for the sole purpose of Hawaiian themed parties. Um, you definitely just bring kind of like costumey clothes. Like in high school, if you had spirit days, it's kind of similar to that. I would say some popular themes are like Jersey, Hawaiian jungle or animal animal print army this is especially if you're going to be in a sorority or Greek life um, definitely bring like a cocktail dress this is the dress that I wore to my formal it's from Princess Polly 
Um, you never know, you might get asked on date events or you have like your formal, semi-formal, so you wanna bring nicer dresses to wear to those events. Don't bring too many of these because you don't really need that many. Um, and if you have like a last minute event, you could always ask your friends, borrow dresses. That's what a lot of my friends did. But I would say definitely have a few that you just like love and you know that you're gonna wear. This is the last category of things I'm gonna talk about and it is what shoes to bring to college. So I brought, I think literally every pair of shoes that I own and I wore maybe like four or five pairs. So definitely only bring shoes that you know 100% you're going to wear. First up, bring a pair of everyday sneakers that you will wear all the time if you're like a sneaker person. I wear my Air Force Ones like all the time. I'm definitely bringing these down. You also wanna bring gym shoes. So like those I don't wear to the gym, but you wanna bring like actual like running shoes for working out. If you're planning on going to date events, formal stuff like that, you need heels. I brought like 10 pairs of heels. Like I don't know who I thought I was. Like I don't wear heels ever, except for if I'm like dressing up. Um, I would say bring like a pair of nude heels and a pair of black heels and you're good. And if not, you can borrow them. Like do not bring tons and tons of heels because that's what I did and I was stupid, so. Definitely bring some shoes like sandals, like Burks or Crocs or Chacos or whatever like your sandal is that you wear in the summertime. Definitely bring those or flip flops just for walking to class. Yeah, for the winter and fall, I think it's super important to bring boots, but also don't bring like a ton of boots. I had a pair of Sperry duck boots as my like rain and snow boots. And then I also had my black Doc Martens. So you don't need too many pairs of boots. I brought these like over the knee black suede boots. Like when am I gonna wear those? I have no idea. But yeah, definitely just bring some snow boots if you're in a school that gets snow and rain a lot. Okay, that is everything that I would recommend bringing to college clothing wise. I know it's kind of a lot, but when you think about it, there's lots of different occasions to wear different things. So this is just everything I could think of. Um, I'm sure I probably forgot some stuff. And like I said, you can definitely tailor this to your own personality, your own preference, and your own school. But these are just things that I found myself wearing a lot and needing a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a good idea about what to bring to college if you were confused or wondering. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're going to college, where you're going, are you excited, all that stuff. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.